channel is Shaq Strong back with another video review and this time we have Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Drift well Autobot Drift but still the same thing and here he is in his packaging as you can see there he is in his plastic prison there is the arch right there of Drift it's just the same Drift Robots picture, it's nothing special for his uh, helicopter mode. There's a uh, Autobot Drift, there's the Autobot logo right there, Hasbro logo, Age of Extinction logo, the simplified Transformers uh, box art, or well not box art but box lettering, which is pretty cool. There's the Autobot logo on the side. Autobot logo on the top. The art continues on the other side. Transformers logo on this side. And it says, oops, I don't want my backdrop coming off. But, anyways, it says Transformers Generation Voyager Class Series 4, which is uh, movie 4, and then this is number 6. On the back here, there's a bio. It's going to pause and read it. There's product art, it's helicopter mode, and then the robot changes in 24 steps. And his wave mate, which is Slog, I already reviewed that. You guys can go check it out. Some legal stuff, and authentic Transformers logo right there. Then on the bottom, the authentic Transformers logo again, and then some more legal stuff. But let's get this guy out of the box and get on with the review. So here we have Drift out of the packaging and in his helicopter mode. And as you can see, he is a repaint of Skyhammer from Dark of the Moon. I have not reviewed uh, Skyhammer yet, but I do still have him in, in the packaging. But uh, I am not going to open him up right now because I have all the Voyagers from Dark of the Moon in their packaging. And they're uh, on display, so maybe one of these days I'll open them up. But he's very, very, very cool. I'm not sure what uh, type of helicopter he is, but he looks sort of like a uh, Apache, but he's not. But he is really, really nice dark blue with some gold plastics. And then some light blue paint. It's more like a turquoise blue. Then he has clear blue windshield right here. And then black per uh, propeller blades. Well, I should say rotor blades, but his rotor does spin. Really nice. And he does have landing gear, and it can go up like so. So you can give him a nice flying pose. But he's kind of back heavy when he is um, with no landing gear. You have to get him right in the middle for him to balance. But it's normally back heavy. But then sometimes it'll stay on the front. But there you go. So there is Drift in his helicopter mode. And just a quick size comparison. Here I have um, Drift in his Veyron mode. For a quick size comparison, and this is the exact same character, just he's a triple changer in the movies. So we have the helicopter, the Bugatti Veyron mode, and the robot mode, which is pretty cool. So there's that. He does come with two accessories, these two sword slash katanas, and they do combine together to form this thing. It's like a two-handed sword almost but this is how it comes in the package so you just pull it apart like that but I've been fiddling around with the helicopter and the only place I've figured out where to put these are at the tips of the wings right here there's a little slot right there and then there's a little tab on the edge of the sword you just put these like so and then like so, and there we have 
helicopter with gigantic katanas on the edge of his wingtips. But I don't know if you guys will like that coming at you, but I certainly would not. So you have, I think these are turbines for the rotors, but there's missile pods right here. And I'm not sure what else. I'm pretty sure this, these are all engines, but pretty scary. But other than that, that's all he has for his helicopter mode. To transform him, first thing you want to do is come to the back here and unpeg the legs, like so, and fold these out. Unpeg them from the top of the helicopter. You can come uh, down underneath here and pull out the torso and extend it out. So, get these blades out of the way. You can come here, extend these out. And come down here to the foot, collapse that up. Fold that out and back like that until it clicks. There's a little tab right there. Should click in. If I did it right, come on. There you go, just like that, and then fold out the part of the foot, the front part, and then the heel. So there's that leg done. I'm going to fold this out too, I forgot about that. There you go. Come here, it's the exact same thing. Make sure it collapses. Fold that in. And that like that. I think I messed up something here. back like that and this folds up like that. Maybe they got right on that foot. I'm gonna look at the instructions trying to do this by myself. Don't really need any help from the instructions. But I think that's fine. So then we come up here to the arms here and then peg them right here like this. And fold this backpack section up. Get it out of the way. Fold down. Flip it around. Get these arms out of the way. Here, open them up. Get them back. Get these off and out of the way also. Let's pop them right off. Gun pods come off to the side. Now pull this around. Put this in the back like that. Then come to the back here and collapse this like so. And come up to the Canopy here, split it apart, exposing Drift's head. And then you spin this section around like this, and you push in on his chest, like so. Spin these. Not sure how much I'm getting on camera. Let me get a better rig for this, but spin these around, spin his arms around. You can open up that, spin his head around like that. Same thing. Spin this around. Fold these. Like so. I guess you can close those up like that. Fold that behind him like that. 
take out the arms, like so. And take out the hands, like so. And collapse it back. Come on. Guess it's like that. I'm going to take a look at the instructions real quick. Then you open up the fist here. Like so. Then you close it like that. Then you take these blades here and then fold them and wrap it around him like so. And then like so. Then it gets underneath. And this wraps around him. And there is Voyager Age of Extinction Drift in his robot mode. I need to double check to make sure I got this all situated, but I think that is it. Let me refer to my instructions here. And it does look like, other than the arms here, I think I messed up on the arms here a little bit. There you go. So you gotta fold this in like this, open it up like that, and then collapse it like that. So there we go. There is the Voyager Drift in his robot mode. And as you can see, he is just a repaint of Sky. Uh, hammer, like I was saying earlier, his back is pretty open and doesn't have a lot of like things to fill it in. It's just like I don't even know. And then we move these out of the way also. See it like that. As you can see, he's really open in the back. There's a lot of open panels. Pull that up. Um, I, I wish there was more like coverage on the back because you, you can see a lot of the screw holes. That's one thing I don't like. Um, uh, same thing up, uh, up there. I wish these panels could be folded up more. Maybe I didn't do it correctly, but... Yeah, I think I did. But you can take these swords of his and plug them into his arms, like so. There's that. All you gotta do is slide the little hooked in portion like that, and then go like that. And he holds it in his hand pretty damn fine. So he has two swords, and then he has these two missile pods that I took off earlier and they just sit on his wrists here like so which is pretty cool there's that and just for a quick posability there's some toe movement right there swiveling knees and they also bend like so uh, rotating hips, then move the landing gear back, get it out of the way. Rotating head, like so. Rotating shoulders, move these out of the way, like so. Get these out of, that, out of his hands. Then swivel at the elbow, what's really the top of the bicep. There's really no elbow articulation, which which should be here, but it's way up here. And then hand movements, there is none except in and out, but that's for transformation. All in all, this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, I never actually opened up Skyhammer, so I never got to transform him, but I've seen people transform him, and he looks pretty cool. Like, I'm really inclined to like the, um, Helicopter Transformers, I don't know why, I just really like them. This is a must buy.
especially if you're a drift fan. I like this incarnation a lot. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching this review. I'm trying to get better at reviews. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do. Um, anyways, guys, I got more re uh, reviews coming. So, see you guys later.